Do you remember the day that we visited Damajali and Hame, those two villages on the Kenya side of the border? My name is Joe DiCarlo, and this is my medical team's story. Since the villages were just a few miles from the Somali border, we had to have an armed police escort. And I just remember how it was hot, the road was very rough. It took us about an hour and a half to get to Damajali, and then another 45 minutes to get to the village of Hame. That's when I met Mr. Joe. Me and my brother-in-law, we had to work for two days to get my sister some help. I've been to many clinics like this before in other places in the world, and I thought it was just going to be another typical day. But it didn't take long for me to realize this was going to be anything but typical. My sister was dying. So Andrew and I examined the woman and determined that she had Stevens-Johnson syndrome, which is a life-threatening reaction to medication. So the reaction was causing severe pain and bleeding from around her eyes and mouth. We started an IV while she was lying there on the cart and hung the bag of fluids from a branch on a tree. And a few minutes later, another woman came with her one-year-old son. We suspected he had measles and pneumonia. I knew the child wouldn't survive half an hour. We needed to get uh, antibiotics in and an IV established or this child would die. Luckily, Ashley, our volunteer from Canada, she was really an expert in inserting IVs into children because of her work in the ER at home. And then they brought in a second child. And then a third child was brought in, all with the same symptoms. They all received the same quality of care, but the first child needed more attention than we could provide in the field. So we packed up the mother and the child and we put them in the Land Cruiser and they rode back with us to the hospital in Dadaab. With the IV bag swinging from the ceiling of the van as we were driving on the rough roads, the child opened his eyes, looked around. It was amazing how he was improving right in front of us. Most of the hospitals in Africa don't, don't feed their patients, so we left some food. We told the nurse in the hospital about our diagnosis and the treatment that we had already given to the baby. And every day we stopped by uh, to visit the mother and child to see how they were progressing. I was told an amazing story. Andrew, uh, our staff member there, was approached by the sister of the woman on the cart. And she asked him, Who do you worship? And Andrew said, I worship God. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am a Christian. You know, I'm a Muslim, and in our faith, we call each other brother or sister. Thank you for treating me as your sister. That day, Andrew demonstrated the love of Christ to these Somali refugees, and they're taking notice. It was a good day. It was a great day.